we, we're going to do something different today for mental maths. And I'm going to show you our number chain that we are going to complete by counting in fractions. So I'm just going to do the first um, one with you. Just so you see how it works. Okay, so for this number chain, we don't worry about converting to improper fractions. Okay, we are just adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting. So if we say 17 twentieths, I have 17 twentieths and I add another seven twentieths to it, how many twentieths do I now have? Put it in the chat if you have an answer. 17 twentieths plus seven twentieths. How many do we have? Yeah, I think it's 24 because we just, the, we are adding 20th. So we're just going to go 17 plus seven of those all together gives me 24 20th. Okay. And so today we're also not going to be too concerned about simplifying or anything like that. We're just going to keep adding. So if I do the next one with you, I've got 24 20th and now I'm going to add 11 20th to it. How many 20ths do I have? 24 of them plus 11 of them. How many 20ths do I have? Now there's 35. That's right, 35 20ths. Okay, and if I put another uh, five with that, so 35 plus another five 20ths, now I have 40. Okay, so you guys see how it works? You're going to do the rest of the number chain just like that. I want to see fraction answers, eh? So it's not just 40, it's 40 twentieths. So we have to put it 40 and then the line and twentieths. Okay, guys. So And on your keyboard, all you do is you type 40 and 20 like that. Okay. So the rest you're going to do now, we're going to do our normal timer. And you can do it in your uh, book or on your page, wherever it is that you're working. And uh, we're going to complete the rest from question D. I'm going to give you about two minutes to do this. And OK, so I'm giving you some time to warm up and get ready. And let's see. We can start. There you go. Don't put it in the chat. Just do it there on your own at your desk where you are.
Okay, and stop. <laughs> I wonder how that went. <laughs> it's okay if it didn't go so well today, because it is our first day doing fractions, and it might be a little bit new to you, but we're going to do it again next time, okay? And each time, just see if you can do a little bit better. So let's start from C, and then let's go on to D. If I have 40 twentieths, and I take three of them away, how many do I have left? Someone said 37, that's it. 37 twentieths. And if I take another seven away, that's been completed, that's 30 over 20 or 30 twentieths, okay. Now I subtract a half. So can anyone tell me how many twentieths would a half be? How many twentieths is a half? Not 15. 10 twentieths, that's right. So you can think of this as being the same. So if I subtract 10 twentieths or a half, then I get 20 twentieths, which is a one because 20 twentieths is going to make up a full whole. Okay. Now it switches over and we're changing to elevenths. So if I have one, how many elevenths is that? It's 20 twentieths, but we're switching over. So how many elevenths do I have if I have one whole? Can someone put that in the chat? How many elevenths make up one whole? If I divide a, one whole into elevenths, how many are, are going to be there? Eleven, that's right, KG. This is eleven elevenths. If I take, let me see if I can do it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eleven. I actually drew it perfectly. Okay, so it's not very straight, but that's a whole, right? And if I divide it into elevenths, it will be made up of 11 elevenths. Okay, so then I add three elevenths. So how many elevenths do I now have? 11 elevenths plus three, that gives me a total of how many? 11 plus three, that's not hard, <laughs> it's 14. That's right. And then I add another four elevenths. How many do I have now? 18. That's right, 18 elevenths. And then I add another five. How many are there? 18 plus five gives me 23 elevenths. I see people just write the 23 in the chat but you must write it as a fraction. And then I add another nine. How many do I have now? <laughs> 23 plus nine is 32. Elevenths. And then if I add one more, how many elevenths am I gonna have? 33. And 33 elevenths is the same as three. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we're switching over again. And we are switching to 13ths. So if I have three holes, how many 13ths do I actually have in there? So if I had to take, if I have three holes and I divide it into 13ths, 39, nice kg. Um, that will be 39. 13th. So now we subtract 5 from there. That gives me 34 13th. Okay. And so whenever there's a switch over like this, just make that 3 into however many um, you are looking at. So if it's 13th, then you have to think, okay, so how many 13th are there? So now we're going to subtract 3 from the 34. That gives me 31 thirteenths, nice. And then I subtract another seven. 
37, 31 minus 7, 31 thirteenths minus 7 thirteenths is 24 thirteenths. And then I add another 7. So I've subtracted 7 and then I add another 7. Then I'm back where I started, right? Back at 31 thirteenths. And then I add another 3. That's going to give me 34. And then I add another 4. That's going to give me 38. Thirteenths. Nice, guys. I hope your um, brain maybe hurts a little bit after that. <laughs> it means this made you think, which is excellent. As long as you're thinking, it's great. But feel free to take a snapshot or a screenshot of this because we're going to do this again. <laughs> we're doing this again. Yes, we're flexing those brain muscles. Well done, Gatlejo. <laughs> Um, we're flexing those brain muscles to get good at fractions. We need to be very good at fractions. And they don't go away, hey? Even up to matric, you do fractions. Okay. So let's carry on. Go brag in the chat if you've got something to brag about. Yes, we're definitely doing it again on Wednesday. 12 out of 12. <laughs> that's fine it's the first time you guys see this maybe asked in this way but it is really good for you and um, for your fractions okay welcome Ayanda right let's move on to the next part of our lesson and our, our brain um, workout has not stopped we're carrying on <laughs> okay so let's see We'll do another one on Wednesday, guys, so don't stress. Um, there will be time for you to um, get better at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pizza fractions. We're going to just use a pizza today to think about a few things about fractions. So um, let's read the first question. Six friends share one pizza equally. What fraction of the pizza does each one get? Put it in the chat. Six friends share one pizza equally. And if you if you are there where you need to make a drawing, you can, hey? So if you feel like a drawing is going to help you, you can. And if we are talking about fractions, we need to give our answer in fractions. And think carefully. Think about you guys. Maybe you have some siblings or something and you are sharing a pizza. You're not going to give your, or you, maybe you will give your sister or your brother or whoever's there with you one whole pizza. Because if you're telling me one, you're telling me you're giving them the whole pizza. But it doesn't work that way because six people need to share this pizza. That's right. So how many are we dividing the pizza into? We're dividing the pizza into six. Six. <laughs> Ooh. Six. Six. So each person is going to get one of those six slices. So the fraction that each person is going to get is a sixth. One sixth. Okay, next question. Seven friends share one pizza equally. Now think again about your answer. What fraction of the pizza does each one get? We only have one pizza, so we can't suddenly have seven. That's it. We're dividing it into seven equal parts. So... It's going to be one seventh, or if if you want to, you can write it one over seven, or um, a seventh, one seventh, like that. Okay. Now tell me which is bigger, a sixth or a seventh, and explain why. Put it in the chat with a quick explanation. Which is bigger, a sixth? Or a seventh? <laughs> D, 
Yes, one of seven is fine. You don't have to say over. Guys, same size pizza, so don't confuse the matter. It's just the same size pizza that first gets cut into six pieces and then get, gets cut into seven pieces. Okay, let's think this through, hey? If I divide a pizza between six people and then I divide it between seven people, when is my slice that I get going to be bigger? It's going to be bigger if there are fewer people that I need to divide it into. So one sixth is bigger than one seventh. Why is one sixth bigger? Because you're literally dividing it into fewer pieces. So the actual piece is bigger. Yes. Yes, one six is bigger. Okay, good. Now I think use that same thinking to figure out. Remember, we said if there are fewer people, so if you're only six people, you get a bigger slice than when you are seven people. So now think about one over 14 or one fourteenth and one fifteenth. Which is bigger? Which is bigger, a 14th or a 15th? A 14th, that's right. Okay, good. A 14th is bigger. And just think about this logically. Okay, some of you are saying you're confused, but just think about this logically. If you have a pizza, let's think about it. And we divide it between six people. Now think about that, picture it. And then we go and we take that same pizza and we then divide it between seven people. If you divide it between more people, you're gonna get less pizza. Each person is gonna get less pizza. The more people they are, the smaller the slices are gonna get. How is uh, 1 14th bigger? 1 14th is bigger because you are dividing it amongst fewer people. So you take your pizza, you can only give it out to 14 people. Now, if you take your pizza and you give it out to 15 people, your slices are gonna get smaller, am I right? Or am I wrong here? I don't know. Miss Kat, what do you think? <laughs> You're correct. If there's more people, and the pizza is the same size, then you have to divide it into smaller pieces for everyone to get. But if there's fewer people, yes. then you get bigger slices. That's it. Okay, so let's try this over here. Now, I'm gonna give you two, two minutes to think about this on your own. And we'll check back in about, <laughs> yes, guys, I am right. <laughs> if you've ever eaten pizza, then you'll know the more people there are, the smaller your slice of pizza gets. You don't want to share your pizza with many people. You want to share your pizza with, think about cake. Like you don't want to um, share your cake with a lot of people. So the more people there are, the smaller your piece are getting. Yeah. <laughs> okay so here's your questions five questions you need to say in each, each case which is bigger so two minutes and we'll check back don't put anything in the chat just quietly do it there at home where you are i'm glad the light bulb's gone on <laughs>
and it says explain, it means you have to give a reason why the one would be bigger than the other. Okay, our two minutes are up. So in each case, which one would be bigger? A fifth or a quarter? Would you rather share your pizza with five people or with four people? <laughs> Some people still want to share their pizza with five people. I'm not sure why, because their slice would be smaller. And that's exactly the reason why, is because Dividing it into quarters, um, if you divide it into fewer pieces, the pieces are bigger. Okay. Now, if we go two sixths or two sevenths, which one is going to be bigger? Here we go. Now we are catching on two sixths. Yeah. Would you rather share with six people or with seven people? Yeah. Six. Even if it's two sixths and two sevenths, sixes are still bigger than sevenths. Would you rather three over six or three sixths or three sevenths? Three sixths. That's nice. And again, um, if you divide into six pieces, they are bigger than dividing into seven pieces. So the more pieces you divide into, like someone said in the chat, the smaller they become. Okay. Uh, six sevenths or eight ninths? Mm, now we have to think. Six sevenths or eight, eight ninths? Which is bigger? Six sevenths or eight ninths? <laughs> now it's getting lit. <laughs> six sevenths or eight ninths? So what are we saying? We're all saying six sevenths. Is no one going for the eight ninths? So say to saying eight ninths. Okay, I think this one we must draw. Um, how can we draw this? Um, let's do it like this. Oh, seven. Seven's are so hard to divide into. Um, but it is eight nines. These are threes. Okay. And then you divide the threes in half. Threes. Oh, no, but that's, never mind. That's six. Yeah. I'm that's, not doing seven. Yeah. So it's actually eight, yeah. So eight ninths are bigger than six sevenths. But I think we need a good drawing for this. So next time I'll I'll actually make a nice drawing and then we can show why. Okay. And then three sevenths and five ninths. Five ninths or three sevenths. Three sevenths. Ms. Kat, what do you think? Three sevenths or five ninths? <laughs> Which is bigger? It's five ninths. Five ninths, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Some guys are saying they, their minds are lighting up the room. So that's our, our pizza fractions, but I think we will... Um, I'll just prepare some good drawings because it's a bit difficult to draw these with the sevens and the nines um, right now. So I'll just prepare some good drawings and then next time I can show you, prove my point. Better still, you can um, make your own drawings and prove my point. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what we must do next is go on to, so we've done some pizza, now we're going to do some Smarties. 
smart T fractions. And I want you to complete this table best as you can um, while I take one or two questions. So the rest of you just work on the table. It says there, there are 12 Smarties in a box. Complete the table. So the first one says a fraction of the box, a 12. How many Smarties will that be of 12 Smarties? Okay. <laughs> just blown. Okay, um, let's see. Tiamo Tabiso. Uh, afternoon, ma. Hi. Mom, uh, this question I'm, I'm about to ask you is, uh, it's about nothing we have done today. I just want to... Uh, Practice just one sum of a uh, long division just to see oh, how. Oh, sorry, sorry, my sweets. We're not going to do that now. Okay, we just we're busy with fractions now. We did that when we did whole numbers. So you can have a look at one of our videos on long division. Okay, next question, Azonia. Um, ma'am, is it a must for us to always look at? Um, small numbers when we do the fractions. Small numbers? What do you mean? As a like um the previous topic we did, it was six sevens or eight nines. Was it a must for us? Is it a must for us to look at small numbers? Um, I'm not sure. Like those are pretty common. Like halves, quarters, thirds, fifths, sixths, um, th but it can be anything. You can um, you can divide a pizza into thousands if you want to, um, and that would be a big number, but the, those pieces would be tiny. So you're, you can divide anything into any number of pieces. Okay. Okay. Right, last question, Colofelo. Colofelo, you can ask. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hello. Uh, ma at ma'am, at pizza fractions, ma'am, why do we say eight comma nine is bigger than six over okay, seven? Okay, so okay, so if you don't understand that one, just wait till Wednesday. I'm gonna show a picture, and then it's gonna. Yes. I think it's gonna be much better. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Ma Bye. Okay, let's look at smarty fractions. So, how many smarties is a twelfth of twelve smarties? How many smarties? If I take twelve smarties and I just want a twelfth of that box of smarties, how many do I have? So now remember, if we are, we said that we're dividing, right? So if we're taking our 12 Smarties and dividing them into 12ths, how many am I getting? So if there's 12 people and I take 12 Smarties and I divide them out, how many will each person get? Just one. Yeah, it's just one Smartie. How much is a sixth of 12 Smarties? How much is a sixth of 12 Smarties? So now I'm taking my 12 Smarties and I'm dividing them out between six people. Yes, now everyone can get two. Oh, do we notice anything here? A 12th and then a sixth. 12th is one, a sixth is two. Just saying, it's there. Okay, what about a quarter? If I take my 12 Smarties and now I divide it between four people, how many do I get? Get three. And a third? If I take 12 Smarties and I divide them by three people, how many will each person get? That's the same as a third. Komoto says she notices something. And then yeah, I agree with Miss um, Kat. 
who is this putting beauty no, don't do yes. that beauty just put your answer once and that goes for the rest of you as well don't put so many it is not necessary i see you and we hear you once and that's fine okay so a half what is half of 12 that is six okay good our brains are working overtime today <laughs> So now we're going to do, we're going to go further. And we said a twelfth is one smarty. So how many smarties will two twelfths be? If one twelfth is one smarty, then two twelfths, how many smarties will that be? Yo, now suddenly we have. 24 smarties. I don't know where the rest of them came from. There's only 12 smarties, so we can't make more smarties suddenly. That's right. There's two. That's it. Because if we look at the 1 over 12, and then we look at the 2 over 12, so 1 over 12 is 1, then 2 over 12 must be 2. And then using that same thinking, how many Smarties will 7 over 12 be? That's right, 7. Because 1 12th is 1. So 7 12ths must be 7 because there's 7 of it. Okay. Right, let's carry on. What about 3 twelfths? We said 1 twelfth is 1. How many will 3 twelfths be? That'll be three. Good stuff, guys. And then four twelfths. Four twelfths will be four. And five twelfths. Five. Right? And what do we notice? We see there's a bit of a pattern here, right? So that's six. Six twelfths is going to be six smarties. Okay, and then eight twelfths, eight smarties, and nine will be nine smarties. Okay, now let's go back to our table to do two sixths. We said one sixth, I'm going to just do it in a different color. One sixth is two smarties. So one sixth is two smarties. So two sixths or two two sixes, how many smarties will that be? Four, there we go, four, that's right. Okay, and then three, three sixths, how many will that be? Six, that's right, six smarties. And four sixths, That'll be eight. Nice. You see the pattern? So we said one sixth is two, two sixths is four, three sixths is six, four sixths is eight smarties. So five, how many will that be? Ten. Yeah, you can just do it by using the pattern. Easy. Okay. And that was the sixth. And now we are going to do the quarters. So a quarter of the box of Smarties is three. So how many will be two quarters? If one quarter is three Smarties, two quarters will be six. That's right. And three quarters, nine. Nice, Tichofatso. And two thirds, two thirds of the box. Let's go back to our table to help us. A third is four. So two thirds, how many will two thirds be? So think carefully, don't just answer. A third is four. 
Smarties. So two thirds will be eight Smarties. That's right. Okay. Right. I think we're going to stop there because this is what we need for our next lesson. We're going to carry on with Smarty fractions. Um, next time. And that's it for today. I'll take one or two more questions. Waratwa, you are up with your question. Hello, ma'am. Hi there. Ma'am, I was asking, ma'am, if where could can we find the 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 vid, like the recorded lesson on the website? Okay, ma'am. Thank on you. On the Watabi website. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, tell me to be so. I'm just going to give someone else a turn because you've had a turn. Ishmael? Ishmael? Guys, if you don't unmute when we ask hello. you to. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. Um, I didn't understand the last three questions about the, the table. Um, it's two yeah. over four and it's six. You're supposed to like multiply two times four or... No, so we look at the table. So we said if we divide 12 Smarties into a quarter, which is basically yeah. dividing it into fourths so we take 12 smarties and say there's four people then we divide it between those four people and each of them get a quarter of the smarties which is the same as three smarties so each person is going to get three smarties right so that's a quarter so two quarters if one quarter is three smarties then two quarters how many will that be? Six. That's six, yeah. So then three quarters, if two quarters is six, and now I'm looking at three quarters, how many will that be? Nine. That's nine, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, um, I'm going to go to Ayanda. Ayanda. Hello, ma'am. Hi there. Um, ma'am, I was uh, confused. Um, do you uh, multiply the denominators to get your, your top answer? Do you multiply to get, to, like, do you times the number that they give you? Like, let's say they gave us 12, like you said, for the pizzas. So do you, like, say, um, maybe let me just use 5 over 12, ma'am. Do you, like, count 5? Uh, 10, 15, or do you like, do you actually multiply the denominators, then you get your answer? I just want you to think about it logically. So if we have 12 Smarties, right, and say we divide them by 12 people, how many Smarties will each person get? Excuse me, ma'am? If you take your 12 Smarties that's in this box, and you divide it by 12 people, how many Smarties will each person get? Each person will get, ma'am, each person will get six. If there's 12 people, 12 people with 12 oh. Smarties, how many will each person get? Ma'am, will they get two? So if we give 12 people two Smarties, how many Smarties will that be? It, it would be two. So if you, if you give two Smarties to 12 people, that's going to be 24. 
So we don't have enough Smarties to give each person two Smarties, okay? Just think about it logically. So if we take them, and I'm literally going to draw them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and I give it out one by one to 12 people. How many Smarties will each person get if there's 12 people? Ma'am, one. One, that's it. So that's why we put the one there. So a 12th of 12 is one. Now we go and we say, right, let's take our 12 Mom, Smarties. Is that a half? Okay. Is that a, 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 is that a quarter? No. So if it's a quarter, it means we're dividing our 12 Smarties between three people. And then, oh. Oh, sorry, if it's a quarter, then we're dividing the 12 Smarties between four people. And then how many Smarties does each person get? Ma'am, I think that get, um, maybe they'll get uh, one, over, one over two. If we're dividing 12 Smarties by four people. Ma'am, three. That's it, three, there we go. So that's why we said a quarter is three. So you can use what we did here in the table to help you figure out the rest of it. Because if you have one quarter is three Smarties. And then two quarters, how many Smarties will that be? Ma'am, would it, would it be two? If one, one quarter is three, so now I'm giving two quarters. So one quarter is three, so then two quarters, how many must that be? Um, it must be one. It will be six Smarties. Okay, I think you must take a screenshot of the question and then just try it again on your own and make a drawing to help you. Okay, even if you have to make a drawing for each one, it'll help you. Okay, right. ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, are you going to be our same teacher tomorrow as well? On Wednesday, yes. So not tomorrow? No, on Wednesday. We have lessons on Monday and Wednesday. Oh, okay. Okay, bye.